The new trailer for Sun and Moon is out, and it's lit. In. That's Litten. A fire cat. That's the starter. Sorry. Just say McDonald's and the only thing that's actually lit is my colon. So, I guess we'll see how this video goes. Who's ready for a full sub box? Well, I did this the next day, so Sun and Moon is poppin'! Literally. Row. That was bad. Oh my god, I wrote this. The starters have been revealed, and like a menu at a French restaurant, I don't know what the heck is going on. We have the world's cutest, slightly penguin looking owl. I know it's an owl, but I'll let you see the inner penguin in it. It's the McDonald's, guys. I had a McChicken. It's too much. It's hurting. It really is. All right. This time we'll be serious, though. Let me get into my serious mode. <clears throat> this is called Rowlet, a grass flying type with a little cute leaf tail. And oh my god, a cute little bow tie. Ah. Uh? It's all proper and ready to take its history exam. Then we got Litten. It's lit. I can't- I can't stop making this joke. Game Freak, why? You guys are freaks. Oh. That actually makes sense. It's a nice little black and red fire cat, and it looks so much more animated than I ever expected a starter Pokemon to look like. We a boot to choose this one. This one is fairly cute, but I have a feeling it might end up looking really weird in its final evolution. I mean, I'm still getting PTSD from Delphox, so... I don't know. But you know what? Game Freak? You guys are okay sometimes, so let's just work on this together. Next up, we got the circus water seal thing. I mean, it's bouncing on a bubble and trapping poor little Rowlet in a bubble. Hey, you pop that bubble. Like the Poplio you are. That's its name. Its name is Poplio. Honestly, this guy looks like it would evolve into Samurai, so it'll probably evolve into something that actually stands on two feet as some weird irony between it and Oshawott. Overall, the design of these guys are looking pretty nice. It has that unique, trying something new art style, kind of like 5th gen, but it also blends the real Pokemon feel into it, unlike 5th gen. And I'm excited to see what they do. Okay, a lot of the Pokemon for 5th gen were actually okay, but it's just, you know the style was different. You gotta agree with me on that. The trailer itself is looking really nice. You've got what looks to be a bunch of different shirts on the character, so it seems like character customization looks to be back. Can't wait to spend three hours before the gym questioning what clothes I should wear. That's always fun. The atmosphere does feel very tropical, which is nice. And it's called the Alola region. So it's Hawaii, which is cool. I just hope they don't use too much water. I mean, with the last main game being Oras, we're gonna be drowning real soon. But wait! The legendaries have also been revealed. Check out Albino Mega Pyroar and Hades' right-hand man, the mystical demon Skeletor Bat Lord from the Ninth Dimension that also becomes a summoning portal that shoots moonlight and fear into its enemies. Their names haven't been revealed yet, but I'm going to call you Larry the Lion and you Guthric, Destroyer of Worlds. They both look very fitting for their respective titles, and I can't wait to see what powers they hold and how you interact with them in the games. I'm really excited after seeing the gameplay shown in the trailer. It looks really sleek, and the atmosphere looks amazingly immersive, and I really cannot wait to see all the new cities. Also, hashtag Team Rotex. I'll let you know when my Let's Play of this game comes out. November 18th, because that's when the game comes out. Yay! When more information is available, I'll let you all know the magic behind Sun and Moon. Until next time, keep on catching. <laughs>